Welcome to Computer Science 320, 2014 Winter 2's Midterm 1 Practice Problems. So we're working on problem 7, Greedy Straw Man Pessimality, and we're just going to do the intro to the problem right now since there's multiple parts. So we're solving the optimal caching problem except we're maximizing the number of cache misses rather than minimizing it. And we could stop there. Uh, the cache, the optimal caching problem is in the textbook. We already know the general parameters to it and we could work on solving the problem from there. But we've got some unnecessary flavor text to make this more fun and exciting. There's some systems research group somewhere besides UBC and they're trying to show how great their new caching algorithm is and they decide to test against the worst algorithm they can create. So given the number of pieces of data n and the cache size k which is less than n so we can't store all of the data in cache at once and a sequence of data items d1 d2 da, 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 up to dm there's m data items being given and then initial contents of the cache which are c1 c2 and so on and so forth up to ck uh, which for this per version of the problem are dummy data items um, that may never appear in the sequence of data items. So in other words, the cache is effectively empty. So we're, we're loading up the cache with data items, but they're fake data items. So they're all going to cause cache misses. They will never appear in the sequence. Um, they want an algorithm that gives an eviction schedule, E1, E2, and so on and so forth, up to EJ, saying when we're going to evict what. And it's going to maximize the number of cache misses without ever evicting an element unless the cache is full, so there's none of these dummy items left. Uh, and a cache miss occurs, so we, we don't evict things when there's no cache miss. Uh, and always replacing the evicted item with what caused the cache miss. So our only real choice is when, when we really do have to have an eviction of a non-dummy item, which item are we going to get rid of? So plausible strategy, but a terrible strategy. We want to give the worst plausible strategy. All right, that's it for the intro to the problem. Next time we will work on part one.